Greetings and salutations, my fellow gamers. My name is A Far Cry Away, and today we have a new Rising Storm 2 Vietnam announcement update. It's called Mine the Gap Media Update. Hello, everyone. Today we have a new update to share, which covers a different class of explosive weapons that one may find while patrolling the jungle. As always, remember that you are about to see work in progress items, and they're often prototype implementations. Diving right in, let us talk about C4 and tripwires. Composition C4 is a plastic explosive that is stable to carry and move around and can be molded into any shape needed or desired by the end user. Often carried by engineers in Vietnam, it provided a reliable way to close tunnels or clear buildings, but was also often to lay, or sorry, often used to lay traps while out in the field. Players will find this weapon in the US Army and Marine Arsenal. And then we have a cool movie of the C4 in use. The Viet Cong also had their own variety of traps made during the World War II era with anti-personnel mines as well as more modern ones provided by Russia and China. But one of the most common traps was the homemade tripwire created by tying a string or wire to a pin of a grenade which would result in the grenade's detonation when the string or wire was tripped by a passing soldier's feet or legs. And here's a video of the tripwire in action. And then they say, as always, keep in mind that everything shown is work in progress. And that's it for the update. So I know this was kind of a short video, but it's actually a really cool video for Rising Storm 2, as we get to see two of the new explosives used in the game. And I've always enjoyed the dichotomy in Rising Storm's factions and their equipment that they can use. Yes, maybe the C4 is a little bit more powerful than the tripwire, but used correctly, the tripwire can be even more devastating to the entirety of the enemy team over the course of a prolonged battle. Yeah, you might be only getting one or two guys at a time with it, as opposed to the C4 potentially killing multiple enemies, but the thing is, is you don't actually have to be around the tripwire for it to be detonated. So that's actually really interesting to know about, and I think this could introduce a really cool like thing to the game. Kind of like how the Japanese in Rising Storm uh, had their little grenades in the ground that would go off. It's kind of like a a similar thing and I really like that as it will slow down an advancing offensive team. Alright and that is everything for today's Rising Storm 2 Vietnam update. As always if you enjoyed the video feel free to leave it a thumbs up and maybe even subscribe for more Rising Storm 2 Vietnam updates. So yeah see you guys in the next one. Peace out.